All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to paint foggy glass in Photoshop. So foggy glass is really similar to dirty glass, which is what I did in the previous tutorial. The only difference is the colors will have a lot more white in them and the fog won't be centered around the corners of the glass. It will be more evenly spread. So to start off, just go to the link down in the description and download this picture and then open it up into Photoshop and then just go over and make a new layer. And with this new layer, we're going to go over to our color wheel and pick a yellow color. And then we're going to drag our slider on this triangle down to a yellow color that's mostly yellow but has a little bit of white in it. And then we're going to turn our brush to 30% opacity and then we're going to paint in our back windows. And when you do this just make sure that you aren't double passing like you're not lifting your brush up on the same window because that will make it more opaque than we want it. We want the entire windows to be 30% opacity all the way across. And then with your eraser, let's go to 100% eraser. I'm just going to erase the areas that your back windows aren't in. So that's going to be the candle and everywhere else that those back windows aren't touching. And if you erase a little bit too much, you can just backspace by hitting Control Z. Or you can color pick the new color that you have and just touch up with that color. The color picking technique is a little bit more difficult to do if there's a lot of texture behind your windows. Like it's more transparent and there's a complicated background. But for simple backgrounds, it's almost easier than going back on your eraser because you can do it at any point in time in your painting. You don't have to do it right when you make the mistake. And after you got your back windows in, you can just go to this little icon by your layer, this eye icon, and just turn it off and on to see if there's any areas you missed. Sometimes you can't see it very good by just looking at it, but going back and forth, you can start to see some things you missed. So after you're happy with your back windows, we're going to paint our front windows. So let's just make a new layer. And with that same yellow color, we're going to, at 30% opacity, paint in our front windows. So this yellow color has a little bit of white in it. And then we're going to erase that. So foggy glass is kind of cool to do when you want it to look like there's condensation inside the lantern or the texture of the glass is just a bit more foggy and not crystal clear texture. And then after you got your front glass in, we're going to do that same thing where we just hide and show our layer so that we can see the areas that we missed. And then after that, we're going to make a new layer and we're going to go to a pure white color. And with this pure white color, we're just going to add some white to the flame of the candle. Because if you don't do this, the flame's going to look more plastic and not like a real flame. Because in real life, this is the brightest part. And that might shine through the glass more. And so it's not going to lose its color as fast. And it actually might make a little white flare as well. So you can just make your brush a little bit bigger and then... Let's go to 10% so we can just slowly build up on it and add a little white flare around that candle. Let's actually even add a little bit of yellow to it. And then add that white in. 
this is just really going to make that flame pop. And with that little change, it just makes that flame glow just a bit brighter. So this is the first way that you can add fog to your glass and make it foggy glass. Another way is to add a lot of fog. So to do this, we're just going to make another layer and we're going to hide all the layers below it because we want to save those layers, but we don't need them anymore right now for this next example. So to make really foggy glass, just go over to your color wheel and pick a yellow or even more orange color if you want. It could be between orange and yellow depending on the type of fog you want or the color or tint of your foggy glass that you want. And with this orangish white color, we're going to go to 100% opacity and color in the entire window with this color. So really foggy glass, it will still be transparent where you can see the light shining through, but you're not gonna see anything behind it. So we don't even have to worry about painting our back windows just our front windows. And if you paint it really messily like I did, you can just go to your layer and turn down the opacity just a little bit. And this will enable you to know where to erase a little bit better because you'll be able to see those edges through. You know, changing the opacity on your entire layer is also a way that you could paint less foggy glass without having to worry about going over your window in one pass. But I find it it's not too much harder to just keep your brush on your paper and then just erase the areas where you go overboard. But whatever technique you prefer. And then once you got your windows cleaned up, you can just turn up your opacity to 100% again. And once it's there like that, you can color pick and touch up all the little areas that you think the window should be. And then once you got your windows the way you want it, you can just lock the transparency on the window. And then you can turn your color to be a more white color, make your brush big, and turn it to 30% opacity and you can make your window just a little bit more white in the center versus the sides. Just adds a little bit of color variation. So I hope this video helped you to better understand how to paint foggy glass in Photoshop. I have more videos on glass on my channel, so if you're interested, feel free to check those out as well. See you next time.